space exactly, or is time exactly like mm. space? When you talk of time as being another dimension, another direction, then you certainly would be right in feeling that you should be able to move backwards and forwards in it as you want, even stand still in it, because that's a dimension. I can walk up and down the beach, <laughs> depending on what I feel like doing. There's a very important difference in Einstein's theory. So the dimension, the time dimension, is treated a little bit differently. Um, and it's that difference which prevents you from going backwards in it and means that you can't stand still in it. Um, for the connoisseurs, <laughs> for the connoisseurs, if you don't like maths, just do that and it'll only be there for about 30 seconds. For the connoisseurs, it's to do with the way you measure distance in it. So if you remember Pythagoras at school, then uh, let's say I want to go over there towards that big tower, right? Then I could walk along the beach that way and then out along that big headland and I could go, and then you'd work out the distance by Pythagoras. You'd say the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. That would give me the distance to that tower over there, right? Plus the sum of that way plus that way, the sum, right? In Einstein's theory, the only difference between space and time is instead of working distance out with a plus sign to do Pythagoras, we put a minus sign in for the time, right? That's it. It's really simple. So it's like Pythagoras, but instead of x squared plus y squared equals z squared, you have x squared minus t squared equals z squared. So the minus sign, the minus sign, bizarrely, remarkably, pre protects the past from me, and it forces me to move into the future, and it protects something really important, which is cause and effect. So the fact that if I throw a ball at you now, and it hits you on the head and you fall off the wall, me throwing the ball caused you to fall off the wall. And that minus sign protects that. Even though you can sort of slow time down and you can speed it up and you can even reverse the order of certain things happening, you can't reverse the order of things that cause other things to happen. And it's all down to the minus sign. And one other thing, the fact that you can't travel faster than the speed of light. So you need a universal speed limit. 